race to, to vaccinate. Major pharmacies are rolling out their plans this week as they get ready for those additional 1 million doses that were promised by the White House. So far, over 32 million Americans have received at least one dose. That's 10 percent of the population. But with those new contagious variants spreading, experts are warning Americans not to let their guard down. Marcus Moore is with us this morning with the latest. The race to vaccinate the nation wrapping up this morning. Major pharmacy chains are rolling out their vaccination program this week as part of the federal retail pharmacy program. One million doses will be delivered to 6,500 locations. Walgreens telling ABC News starting today, they'll begin accepting appointments for shots as soon as Friday, prioritizing health care workers, those over 65, and people with pre existing conditions. We're just very excited to transition from. Um, phase 1A to this next population and offer the vaccination to the communities we serve every single day. Still, the rollout will be slow. Starting in just 15 states and jurisdictions, available vaccines and appointments are limited. CVS pharmacies saying they'll accept appointments starting Thursday with shots going into arms as early as Friday. This rollout comes amid a rush to vaccinate Americans before those new, more contagious strains of the virus take hold. In the fight against COVID-19, there are encouraging signs of progress. Cases, hospitalizations, and positivity rates continue to fall. Some governors relaxing mask and indoor capacity limits. New York City resuming indoor dining this Friday at limited capacity. With some states now rolling back restrictions, experts worry about a repeat of mistakes, which led to a spike in cases this past summer. I'm asking everyone to please keep your guard up. The continued proliferation of variants remains of great concern. It is important to point out this morning that appointments are extremely limited. Also, the availability of vaccines and the pharmacies participating in this vary by each state. But Robin, this is a critical step in expanding access. It really is, Marcus. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.